My BFI player choice this week is an 80s French pot boiler from Jean Becker, boasting an eye-catching, award-winning central performance by Isabelle Ajani. Adapted from his own novel by Sébastien Japrisseau, the anagrammatical pen name of Jean-Baptiste Rossi, this genre-bending weirdy starts out as a typically flirty rural rom-com, then mutates into a noirish erotic thriller, a twisty web of unreliable narratives and subverted stereotypes. L'été Mertrier, One Deadly Summer. <laughs> In a small southern town, Ajani's 19-year-old L becomes an object of desire, not least to Alain Souchon's mechanic Pimpon. But beneath the alluring exterior, L has her own desire, a desire for vengeance, payback for a terrible crime from many years ago. Trading heavily on Ajani's lusty screen presence, One Deadly Summer became a huge box office hit in France, one of the highest grossing films of 1983. It also wowed the critics, earning nine César nominations, including one for Georges Delarue's score and racking up wins for writing, editing and Best Supporting Actress for Thou Shalt Not Kill star Suzanne Flan. Initial international responses may not have been quite so enthusiastic, but over the years the film has earned a cult following aided by the presence of Eyes Without a Face legend Edith Scobb. There's also a very early role for Maywin Lebesco as the younger L. As for Ajani, who'd already won a César for her awe-inspiring role in Andrzej Zuofsky's Possession, she'd go on to win again for Camille Claudel, La Reine Margot and Le Jeune de la Jupe, becoming the first actor or actress to win five Césars, a record that has yet to be broken. <laughs>